Welcome to my ridiculous Nintendo Switch portable gaming setup for the year 2020. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting. What I have here is my Nintendo Switch console hooked up to a portable gaming monitor which is getting powered by an external battery pack which is actually my carrying case for the Nintendo Switch and none of this is plugged into a wall or an AC adapter. I'm going to go through it but first let's take a trip back to the past and see what it was like to try and do portable gaming on this brick way back in the late 1980s. 30 years ago you could play the original Game Boy, obviously portable. All you needed to do was put in four batteries into the console, then you could play something like Pokemon Yellow on the go. But if you didn't want to do that, there was such thing as accessories and a portable, rechargeable battery pack for the original Nintendo Game Boy. I want to thank my buddy Jordan for getting this to me. This would clip on to your, I guess, belt buckle or your hip or in somewhere that you can clip it onto. You could even keep it in a fanny pack designed by Nintendo and you could charge this up and then play your Game Boy without having to use batteries. So it was the original kind of portable gaming setup. The one that I got did come with everything. It came with all the instructions and the styrofoam which is pretty cool. So you would take this rechargeable and you would plug it into the wall, give it a charge with the cord right there of course, and right here is the clip. So you would clip this onto yourself, I guess, somewhere near your hip, and then plug this into the console. And now you don't require the batteries, you just power the system on. And the system's going, we can see that Nintendo logo scrolling down, and again, no batteries in the console. So this was one of the first portable ways of playing games with a portable battery pack that was rechargeable, which I'm going to get to the one for the Switch that I'm using in a moment. So that's absolutely insane that this existed over 30 years ago, 31 years ago. You might also remember from that time, most people would deal with the small screen, but there were other accessories that we were starting to use. So like a magnifying glass, these things would mount on your console and you would have to somehow attach them. Usually they came with a good mount and then you could zoom in on the screen and you would now have a ridiculous portable setup. Now you have a magnifying glass, you have a battery. So this was really similar on other systems too. I grew up with the Sega Game Gear. So this was my setup when I was growing up. First of all, the super wide gear would be on this. This thing is monstrous, but it would make the screen look a lot bigger. And there was a portable battery pack on the back. It was called the Power Back for the Game Gear. So this would be my portable setup that I would carry around while I would go on car trips or go up to the cottage or anything like that. This was ridiculous, but I absolutely did use this back in my day. One of the original ridiculous portable gaming setups. Another one that was really common was using something like the Game Boy Color that didn't have a backlit screen. You would get these lights that would plug into the side of your console and then when you power your system on the light would come on and now you could see the screen and you could game in the dark it's really great for road trips in the dark this is my wife's console i believe or one of her consoles from growing up and my buddy jordan's light that he used to use so now you can actually see Link's awakening a little bit better than if the light was off and the screen is just really dark and you were kind of holding it a certain way to see it so wow, have times changed? Let's jump ahead to 2020 and this ridiculous setup that I have for this year. Well, this is fun. Yeah, but do you remember growing up and playing on a CRT TV and we would have to like take that 13 inch TV and we would play oh. split screen. Sorry. And we would each only end up getting like a few inches of the screen. This is like the exact same as that. It works. It's just not the best. Yeah, like, do you have a bigger screen? This would be terrible to try and play on, like, a plane, or, or like, if we went to a cottage or something. It's so small. Yeah, a bigger screen would be a lot better. If we can find a bigger screen that doesn't need to be plugged in to the wall. This is way easier to see. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a lot better, and all we have... So we plugged in the switch to the monitor, and then we also have the portable battery pack. The rechargeable battery pack that I'm using today is this one right here. I like the themed colors of red and black, of course, for Nintendo Switch. So this is made by Bester X. It's a very durable hard case shell that uses a magnet to charge your Switch. So I'll show you that in a second. First of all, let's open this up and just check it out really briefly. 
So in here we have, this is what it says for the information. So it says, Bester X, this is the magnetic charging battery case for Nintendo Switch specifically. And these are still available. I did get this a little while ago. In here we have like the barcode up there and everything just in case you want to check it out. But most importantly, down here is where your Switch would go, right down here. So this is a harder plastic shell that's going to protect your Switch with room for where the Joy-Cons would go, where the console sits. Then here is where your console is going to be charging, right with this little thing with the magnet. And we have a power switch. When I hit that four lights means that I'm my battery is right now fully charged, which is good. So in this, we have this little magnetic piece and we even got something to hold some of our games. So let me just pull these out. The little magnetic piece, I do have an additional one right here. So this little magnetic piece, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Switch console and I'm just going to put this into the bottom of the console, just like that. So after that is in the console, then I'm going to put my system and line this up with the little recharging magnet and then I can put the console down. When I put the console down in this, and I turn this on, of course, you can see that the console battery is charging. We have the little charging display logo, which is a little bit tough to see in the top right hand corner right there. So this is going to charge my system. I can also, of course, turn the system off and put it into sleep mode, which I'm just going to quickly do right now while it's just charging. So I can show you more about this case. So when I'm on the go, what I would do is put this over top so that it's protecting it and I can keep anything else I want up here. So maybe another set of Joy-Cons, maybe my capture card that I can use on the go as well. And when you close this up, what's really nice about this case is all the protection, but also you get an additional USB so you can charge your phone or you can charge anything else. This one right here is for charging the actual battery pack. It does take about four hours for it to fully charge. So you can use that charging point right there. Now, if you wanted to play while it was charging, you also have that option because this swivels. So the most difficult part for using this for me is getting the Switch console up. But once you have it up, what you would do is you can put this down and about like that. So it kind of makes like a support stand. Then you put the system here and now it's going to be charging while I'm going to be doing gameplay. So I can have it just like that and we can sit it down if we're at, maybe we're going to the cottage or maybe at some point I'm back to an airport and I want to do mobile gaming. So now I can actually charge while I'm on the go. This is really cool to use in tandem with the next thing I'm going to show you. The portable gaming monitor that I'm using is made by Lapau. The logo is kind of recognizable. It almost looks like this is a Pac-Man symbol. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, if it is LePau. On the side of the box, it says that this is a Type-C portable display, but it also works with HDMI, and that's why you can use it with the Switch or with your computer as a second screen if you wanted. So this is a 15.6 inch Type-C portable display, HDMI, USB Type-C, and a 3.5 jack for your audio in case you're wondering. This one is made in China. Let's open the box and see what's inside because this came with a lot of things that I was hoping it would come with, but I was pretty pleased. There is a three year and six month warranty that you have to register for and you have to activate, so I need to do that still. So in here we have some foam, let's get rid of that. And of course, we have the monitor. Before the monitor, you have a protective screen that's going to go on the monitor. That's great that it comes with it. Usually you have to buy those separate from a lot of companies. We have the AC adapter in its own little bag. I just want to show you what this is. Oh, of course. Okay, so this is just a standard AC adapter with the USB input. Put that to the side. We have the cord. I assume this is the cord to charge it if you want to charge the display, but you can use external charging and the screen actually can be powered by the switch, which I'll show you in a little bit as well. So this is to charge it if you want to separately have this plugged into the wall, but you don't need to have this plugged in the wall and that's why I like this so much. So this is about the same size as a laptop in terms of dimensions this way, but it's a lot thinner than a laptop. So if you have a laptop bag, this will fit in. This comes with a case, it looks like, that's a very, very similar to an iPad. So I'm just going to put that there for the moment. We have two cords here. 
So let's take a look at what the cords are. This is USB-C to USB-C, so this would go in the switch, and then the other one would go in the portable monitor. So take that out and put the bag to the side. And this one is an HDMI and USB, no, mini USB, mini HDMI and an HDMI. So it has this capability because this one plugs into the portable display, the smaller mini HDMI, and the normal one would could plug into your PC or any other device. And then we have the instruction user guide right here, and you have an introduction and an FAQ. So lots of different things that we can read into if we need to. And it also comes with a patch installation and cleaning kit. So it comes with a lot more than just the portable monitor itself, but let's look at the monitor because this is what really matters. So once we open this up, all right, let's open it up this way. So when I open it up, it looks like this is the exact same kind of thing that you can use for other monitors, especially with iPads and things like that. It does have a screen over top of this. So huge, 15.6 inch screen, as I said. So let's take a look at the side. On the side of this, we have the inputs. So here you have the HDMI, the mini HDMI. We have the USB-C and we have the headphone jack. On the other side, just drop the case, on the other side we have the USB-C, which you would plug in the switch. We have a button that's like a toggle button, which is really weird and interesting that I've got to talk about in a moment, and a button to kind of power this thing on and off. The setting control on this Lapau portable monitor, on the side there is a little wheel that you can hit. If you hit it down, we're going to be changing the volume up and down basically. But you have to first start by hitting it down, then I hit the bottom button to exit. If I hit that little wheel up first, it's going to change the brightness so I can move the brightness all the way down. Maybe that will be a little bit more visible on the screen anyways. Hit the bottom button and it goes away. If I hold in the wheel, this comes up with the general menu screen. So we have brightness, contrast, black level, and sharpness. Then we go down one to image. So you can change, which is interesting here, the aspect ratio. If you wanted, you can change it to four by three. Now this might be kind of useful if you really want to play Super Nintendo games or NES games, especially on the Switch Online. You could be playing on the NES Classic or the Super Nintendo Classic because this has HDMI inputs. However, if you're really looking to play the original NES and the Super Nintendo on this, I don't think there's a way you can connect it without some sort of HDMI connector cable. I do have a Super 64 adapter, which work, works for the GameCube and for the N64, so I could be playing on this system right here, on this portable gaming monitor, for those consoles. So going back and then going down, we have color temperature, we have OSD settings and transparency as well as there, and language. Then we have reset, mute, and volume control. And lastly, we have signal source, you can change from type C for the input into USB or into HDMI, I should say. And we have the blue light and things like that as well. So those are all the settings on the Lapau portable monitor. To show how easy it is to move over from the switch to the portable gaming console, I'm just going to press pause. The monitor itself needs to get power from somewhere. So I have USB-C to the USB on the portable gaming battery pack that I also use to hold my switch. When I plug this in, the system's going to think it's trying to get power from the Switch console, so the screen's going to come on, and it's going to say that nothing's there to recognize, but I just need to make sure that I'm getting power off of this. So I'm going to hit the power button right here. My LED lights come on. Now the Switch gameplay is going to automatically go over, and now I'm on the TV. So all I would have to do is use my Pro Controller or remove my Joy-Cons, and once the Joy-Cons are removed, now I'm up and running. I'm not plugged into any sort of AC adapter, of course, and now I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch on this larger screen, which is really cool. This setup also works with the Nintendo Switch dock, but the dock itself requires you to use the Nintendo AC adapter, so you are going to have to plug that in somewhere. My portable power packs don't have normal plugins for, like, wall plugins. So it doesn't really work portably if you want to use the dock, but the screen does work with the dock, just as like a normal TV. 
To go over the positives and negatives of the Lapau Portable Gaming Monitor, the positives are that I love how it works instantaneously with the Nintendo Switch system. The screen is 15.6 inches, it's very large. Honestly, when my wife and I try and play this two player, if we need to go somewhere and we just want to use this size of a monitor, this is way better. It also is the size of your laptop, so you can throw it in your laptop bag, and it's quite a thin screen. It works with anything that's USB-C and HDMI, it works really well. You can plug this into the wall with the AC adapter, which is included. It also includes the cable for USB-C to USB-C and the cable for HDMI to HDMI mini, which is great, and it even has a protective sleeve. The negatives of this, though, is that it doesn't work with anything that's older that doesn't use HDMI or USB-C. So, for example, Component, if you wanted to play even something like the NES or the Super Nintendo, you can't really natively hook this up to the monitor. Another negative, maybe, is that this costs 200 US dollars right now. I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in buying this one. There is a lot of portable gaming monitors out there. This is the one that worked best for me, so make sure you do your own research and you buy one that will work for what you need. In terms of the Bester X carrying case that has a magnetic charging capability for your Nintendo Switch, the positive of this is that it's a hard shell that's definitely going to protect your console and it's going to charge it kind of wirelessly with that little magnetic strip as well. It can also charge something else. So it could charge this portable device or the portable screen with the USB right here, or you could charge your phone or something like that. So I really like those aspects, and it comes with a little four game carrying case inside as well. The negatives of this is that it is on the larger side because it has that battery built into it and this costs 80 US dollars right now so it's a bit more of a hefty price tag but it's great that you get several charges out of this. If I didn't mention it takes four hours for it to charge this fully and then you get two or three charges on your Nintendo Switch just out of one charge of this. So that could allow you to play on the Nintendo Switch for probably something close to like 15 to 20 hours with the several charges you get out of this. So that's really cool. I would love to hear about your thoughts on cool gaming peripherals or accessories that maybe use throughout your years. Maybe we go all the way back to like the game light on the Game Boy or even the battery pack or the magnifying glasses that we were using with the original Game Boy way back when. I could have just in this video, done this video and talked about like, hey, you should get a pro controller or a carrying case or a screen protector, but I want to do something different. So hopefully you guys appreciated it. And I would love to know what you have as your setup portable gaming in the year 2020. Maybe you just take the switch and you go and that's all you do. If you could like this video and subscribe, this really helps drive the channel and be, make it more successful. I do have an Instagram account. The link is in the description below and Twitter and stuff like that. The face reveal. Hopefully it's next video. If it's not next video, it's going to be the video after that. So I am excited to celebrate 100,000 subscribers with you guys. That's definitely still coming. Stay safe, everyone. Go fill that like bucket. Keep smiling while gaming and go collect them all. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great day, everyone.